what is up everybody how you guys doing today we are joined with wangle the dangler and lance cecil the man the myth imagine himself and uh, we got a lot to talk about today but i want to give you guys a chance to introduce yourselves tell the people who you are uh, i'll go I... first go ahead <laughs> my name is lance Jesticles. i am the here in double on f6 stream hold on a second here we go okay i am lance cecil I am the talent coordinator for Prime Championship Circuit, um, host of all things European predecessor, apparently. And I am here to tell you about what's happening on PCC9. And I'm the cat that they dragged in from off the street. They were like, okay, you're mine now. Uh, we need you here. But uh, I'm Wangle. Uh, and you know me. If, you, if you've been around predecessor, I'm around predecessor quite a lot uh play mid lane played mid lane for rogue for quite a lot of pccs now so uh yeah and sometimes sometimes i do some casting or something i don't know that is true. I, I we're here to talk about pcc but I, I just gotta mention to everybody out there who is not a knower of the lore of fred this is a reunion show for the three of us uh i wouldn't say we were on a team but these two were on a team that i did a little bit of hanging around for a while did win a tournament so this is a championship reunion for us here in the red dojo so let's go red dojo shout out the red dojo days these guys did win a tournament together one tournament one win that's all you need on the sheet dude it was a great time it definitely was fun uh, i think you were the best coach we had there even though we did hire one pretty <laughs> Yeah, we were We're paying for a coach weren't we (laughs) well we were you were paying for a coach it wasn't me it wasn't me (laughs) no but yeah definitely some fun times but like you said we are here to talk about pcc um and honestly just want to talk about the future of pcc really quick before we dive into pcc 9 there's a lot coming out the for the end of this year uh we have two more tournaments we have pcc 9 and then we have pdx after that um and I mean, we've been working up to this all year, I believe, Lance. I mean, we've been playing this for almost a year. Um, and then from the player side, I think we gave you guys a schedule out since like the very beginning of the season. It was like, hey, we're going to try and go big this year. Um, that's all leading up to PCCX. Uh, we have a lot kicking for it. Uh, we've been working overtime. And I think it's actually going to be pretty awesome to kind of do it. But PCC 9 is kind of around the corner um it's really pretty much here and there uh what have you guys thought about pcc thus far this year well i mean from a player's perspective i can tell that it's increasing in quality increasing in production value every single time um it's always like really cool watching the stream back especially coming from the days that we didn't have a replay mode and we had the stream on discord that was those were some pretty awesome days back in the day but um yeah no i can tell that you guys are ramping up and you guys are especially pushing towards something special with that pcc 10 just around the corner we <coughs> have a lot in store for pcc 10 i think that the people that participate in it and specifically the people who end up winning that event are going to be pretty happy with what we've got in store as far as what is up with it pcc through the year has been really interesting i i think that it's not a secret to anybody that this has been a roller coaster of a year for pred they've had a lot of really high peaks and a lot of like what the hell's going on kind of moments with the game itself <laughs> as Wangle just smashes a burrito in the background. But I think that it's been a really interesting thing. PCC has seemed really consistent and steady to me, as opposed to a lot of what else has been going on throughout like the internet world for me. So PCC has been pretty dope. I also am a big fan of the fact that we have not had a repeat champion still. We are yeah. about to have our ninth PCC, we've had a couple of teams win it twice. I don't think a timid team has won it three times ever, but players have won it three times. We never had a repeat yeah. champion. I think I heard Seismic is taking this event off, so I'm not going to pick Doctors to win this event either. So we'll see what's up with it. It's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we write a script or anything that doesn't allow people to win twice. Um, I don't think we're going to write a script yet, so nobody can win three times. I think that's pretty cool. We can allow me. somebody to win three times. Pick me. Pick me. I will- Pick me. <laughs> I did tell Wangle the other day that I, I did write in it that one team specifically wasn't going to win. So I, I got the first chapter written at least. 
okay okay are you gonna share that with the rest of us in the background you know cause... i'll tell the rest of you guys in the background but i'm not going to mention it on cutting to the core right now <laughs> okay you I'm don't good, want to affect the gambling odds true 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 but yeah i mean good to hear from both perspectives um like i said i do agree totally i mean we've been ramping up we've been looking for the future of predecessor and the comp scene in general um one day we'll get 100k from omeda we're still praying uh rg say diamonds the blood diamonds <laughs> dude that's a classic <laughs> <laughs> that's a classic um but yeah i mean that's just for this year but looking on it to 2024 just kind of wanted to go over with you guys like we have a lot of plan trying to increase the quality going into a different year. Usually when we kind of spike ourselves at the end of the year, we're like, okay, we've done all these events. We reached the goals that we have accomplished or, Hey, we didn't reach certain things that we wanted to. Um, and then at, after PCCX, we will be kind of just taking maybe like a month break, just kind of looking through everything that we want to do for the next coming season. Um, so make sure you guys push a lot of feedback to us because we really want to up our game for the next year. I know there's a ceiling we're going to eventually hit, but we're not quite there yet. So the more feedback we get from you guys would be greatly appreciated. Um, but next we're going to be talking about a little bit about PCC 9 here. Not a little bit, a lot of bit. Um, Signups open tonight at midnight. So if you have your teams ready, make sure they're going to be ready to go. We're going to be dropping the link as well. I'll be up or somebody will be up to be able to drop the link for you guys in our discord. If you don't have it, we'll get a post out to you tomorrow with all the links that you need to be able to. And uh, it should be exciting. Uh, but before we go on, Wango, who are you playing for this time mm -hmm. around? So <clears throat> I'm in the loop for a lot of teams. If you have any more questions, I can give uh -oh. you the kind of Hell update yeah. on what I know on some of the teams, but uh as far as I'm aware, obviously signups are not open yet. We haven't locked the roster, but I am currently playing for what you guys would know as Flow State. Ooh. With, with the two changes from last PCC being me mid and Mercy and Jungle. Oh, you guys brought Mercy back? Mm -hmm. oh, Mercy's Lord. back, bro. <laughs> okay, okay. But what's the other T out there apparently that we don't know about just quite yet? So there are a couple teams. Uh, professors we just scrimmed against for the first time, uh, I believe yesterday. Professors roster, also not locked, but potential Survivor Crazy as usual. Okay, Dynamic Duo. Grady Jungle, Tekken Kid off, Bry Mid. Uh, that's, that kind of sounds pretty intense. Mm -hmm. lie. That sounds like Tekken Kid chose that roster over playing with <laughs> That's what that sounds like to me. Yep. And then uh, <laughs> there is D Lab are looking for a jungle or mid. Uh, I believe they are going to take one of two junglers. I'm not going to name them, uh -oh. but I think that's what they're leaning towards. Uh, and then the other one that I know about is there is a team being created. The reason uh, that D Lab is looking for a jungler is because both of their ex junglers, Import and North, are making a team together. What? A what? It, What's mm -hmm. North playing? North is going to be playing duo lane. His role is not locked yet. Okay, so I've I've known for a long time that North is probably like a top two or three support in the game who just isn't playing the role. I'm really <laughs> surprised to see him actually move. Yeah. To the position. So he I, actually. Okay, as far as I know, I think he's playing support. It's he's got, I, probably got Pablo, ro right? Roster not locked. <laughs> Neft ADC. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Brandonite mid, Bondrud offlane. Oh, you in north. <laughs> so uh, that's 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 the team. That's the other potential roster right there. Sounds like the Miami Heat. <laughs> Got the first superstar team, just like you know what, we're just gonna just pile it on in here and hope for the best. And uh, uh, I wanted to mention for anybody that's kind of wondering, I am not going to be the jungler for D Lab. Uh, they are gonna go with the other. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you, Lance. Not this it's time not around. No, oh, Toshi rip. gave me that interview or the the audition that he was talking about way back when he was our guest for a cutting to the core, and I fed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean. 
it's okay. I mean, we all feed from time to time again, you know. Um, but I mean, you don't want to like chill out with Lake on the boat. I do, but I'm just not a good enough player. <laughs> That's fine. I'll help you out. That we can just put him on up here, ah, and then that go. way you kind of like keep yourself in the loop. <laughs> what, what, Lego? You don't like this picture of Lakeinator? This big Lake. I'm, I'm aware. <laughs> I think the best thing about this picture is his socks. He's wearing no... shoes and socks on a boat. <laughs> like these are like some thick ass wool socks too. Like these, these are your normal day to day socks. I'm in a state of shock and awe, to be honest. <laughs> You've at, never seen this before. <laughs> at, at the perfection of man. He's a goat. Yeah. He's you might not like it, but this is what peak physical hu or human <laughs> form looks like. Peak oh form, man. Jesus. The but thickest socks I've ever seen and shorts. <laughs> right? Thick <laughs> socks, shorts, on a boat, on a phone, eating a french fry. God. Or a chip, how the UK people will call it. Um, but yeah, signups do open tonight at midnight. Um, PC9 shouldn't look any different from the actual format that we had in 8. I mean, the big thing for it is we're doing the double Swiss going into our main event. Um, this is something that we changed because of the players. Um, I don't think that we ever heard your thoughts on the double Swiss. Uh, Wango, what do you what do you like about it? What do you don't do? Um, <clears throat> the thing that I think I have an issue with for the double Swiss is the fact that it fe it being two different days. Uh, where like it resets in between means that people can get very similar runs because we had four of the same teams two days in a row. It mm -hmm. felt like like we didn't play against professors who were like our competition for like uh like second or third seed. I forget what it was, but like um I think it was third seed. Like us and professors had like very similar records, but like we never actually played head to head. Uh, so I think like, and there are some teams that, you know, just get really rough brackets based on how it goes, but I do prefer it to the kind of group stage format because then I think there's less, there's less flukes in terms of like certain teams that are good enough to be top eight. And like, you want to see them in top eight because you know that they're going to perform or have the ability to take out teams that they might go up against. Uh, mm. I think we see less of those teams not making it in the Swiss stage. So I'm a fan of the change and yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that's definitely one of our, uh, big problems. I know Lance knows cause we talk about it consistently all the time. Like, okay, how can we perfect the format even more? Right. Without completely changing it, because that's one of the things we wanted to do after like, was it PCC six? We're like, okay. And, and five yeah. and four and three yeah. and two <laughs> and one. We're just like, you know what? We need to really stop. So once we got the Swiss, we're like, okay, we got to roll with this. And then we just make fine adjustments there. So hopefully the very minute adjustments that we have, and we've been playing a little bit around with the point system, how that kind of works around. A lot of it has to do with, for people out there that don't know, a lot of it has to do with if teams drop out, um, that kind of changes a lot of how the points are distributed because somebody forfeits instead of actually loses or wins. So you get different points for that. Um, if a team just naturally just doesn't uh, or has to forfeit a game instead of the entire series and not show up, that changes it a lot as well because a lot of times whenever you get put into these matchups, you win a game or you win two games and you have to forfeit a game. It kind of skews the entire system and how it works. So we've been some tiny changes to kind of help with that. But whatever you're going to see, hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully it's fine tuning it to the part where you guys start to kind of like arrive in that situation. Then for PCZ9, we also have the main event on the I'm not wrong here. The 19th was, and 20th. Yeah, this is why we have Lance here. He understands <laughs> dates. Okay. I get asked um, this question every day. <laughs> October 5th, 6th, 19th, and 20th. Well, the main event is going to be the 19th and 20th. Um, what this means for the viewers out there, if you're new, once again, if you're old head, you understand the main event is where all the big teams are at. This is where all the egos get dropped or increase by a significant margin. Um, and this is where pretty much your top head-to-head -head teams gonna go. 
Um, something that we've heard a lot is going throughout it up to the main event. Um, just a little bit of a drawback is a lot of people want to see all the games. Uh, what are your thoughts on that, Wengel? They want to see every single match of going throughout Swiss. There's so many throwaway games in Swiss, to be honest, that are just not worth watching. Oh. The every match, and especially the amount of time that it would take, it's what every team's playing 10 games in a weekend. Mm. Eh, roughly. It's like, well, like maybe not every team is playing 10 games, but like, I don't know. Like, yeah. you got to pick and choose like one per round. You just don't have the time to show all of them. Like, you'd have to run multiple streams and that requires more people to do production for it. And it's just, it's so much that I understand you guys not showing every single game. Okay. PCC8 had 106 games in it total. Yeah. If you have the audience, the time, and the money to watch and have 106 games produced to you, we will do it. But until then, <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think and that's really why I brought it up is a lot of times people get confused. And that was one of the drawbacks and feedbacks of PCC 8 and some of 7 as well. Is we constantly get... Why are you guys showing all these games? There's matchups that we miss. I mean, there's a reason why we allow um, streaming for the Swiss stages is you get to see your favorite players in their games, right? You don't get the casting aspect of it. You don't get that broadcast vibe. But at the same time, at least you still get to see those games, right? So there's a lot of different avenues you guys can go to. Um, obviously, we want you guys to watch the casting, the broadcast angle to let us know how we're doing. That way, you guys can at least give us some more feedback going into the main event. That way, we're not like, oh, yeah, it went fine, but nobody is really there. But like you said, I mean, there's always different avenues. You can always switch or have another tab, go to a game of your favorite player, all the teams that you're seeing matched up um, if we're not broadcasting it. Um, but if there's like different ways uh, that you think we can still do what we're doing now and also give you guys a heads up of when other teams are playing, I think is one of the things people wanted to know when other teams are playing, what times we could possibly try and get a schedule out and just maybe make a post or something that might be good. Um, but like I said, it's up to you guys to try and give us solutions to the problems that allows us to also be able to produce the same amount of quality that we've been doing this entire time. Mm -hmm. You guys have any other thoughts on that? I mean, I don't know. there's also like a lot of throwaway games. I somewhat <laughs> agree in like the selection of the games. Uh, there were a couple that I was like, like I get they're showing this game because you know they've shown this team once already today, but like this this is the matchup of this round, so that might be something to allevi alleviate it, I guess. Okay. Uh I might be the sourpuss throughout this whole thing, but I'm going to go back to something my mama used to tell me when I was just a little Lance and she would, it, it rhymed and I really liked it. And it went like the, actually I hated it then, but now that I'm a dad, I like it. It goes, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I wish that worked. I mean, uh, <laughs> me too. But I've, I've showed you the Reddit posts. I've showed you the dark hole of Reddit. Uh, when people aren't happy over there, it is, whew, they, they, they throw everything at you. Um, also, I do want to make a statement because this is the 18,000th million time of anything that we've posted on social media. We are not affiliated with Omeda. <laughs> um, we are a community-ran tournament. Stop telling us to fix matchmaking or balance <laughs> the game. Uh, we have nothing to do with that. We simply just put on a tournament as best as we can to keep the game alive. Thank you very much, management. Uh, <laughs> but like we were talking about, the main event. The main event has a 3K prize pool. Um, a lot of people are like, why don't you guys always increase the prize pools? It's like, hey, <laughs> we're okay just be pulling money out of our asses here. I mean, <laughs> we kind of go with what we have. Um, a lot of times it's you guys, the community that keeps helping us being able to give these price pools. So we appreciate it a lot. Um, and when we do have extra funds, I know some people were talking about, Hey, we've seen that you raised a total of 5k on your GoFundMe. It's like, 
we also can't splurge all of it into one tournament because then what are we going to use for the next one right so that's just to answer a few questions about that um off of some of the social posts but what is the main thing about the main event that really excites you wango as like a player like you make it to top eight you've been there multiple times is there a different feeling from group stage um yeah i guess there's like more on the line right it's you know hey if we lose two games here we're done you know we have three yeah. we have a three game set i can't say five game set because i haven't been there yet but <laughs> we got that's a three okay, game set right here and you know if we if we lose two that's it our tournament's over all the nights that we've spent playing scrims all the hours that we've spent trying to coordinate as a team like just ends right there so don't lose it's a very different feeling it's also just like the predecessor itself is a lot more fun i'm a huge fan i think most comp players are the same way that uh competitive 5v5 this like pcc tournament is just the most fun form of predecessor like you get a group of guys that you're cool with and you all work together for a while you learn how each other plays learn how to like mesh together and play styles mm. and i don't know like whether you win or lose uh playing in a coordinated team is just like that's what MOBAs are made for and this is the highest form of it highest form you hear that ace give me that 100k <laughs> yeah, <but. laughs> um, no we definitely appreciate that i mean that's something that we thrive to do and keep we're going to keep thriving to do is make sure players have the ability to express their skill uh with their teammates and be able to show like what they really can do because like you said it's made to have comms to be able to communicate 5v5 have a big battle and a lot of times especially like even like casual rank modes any type of game mode that predator can come out with you don't have that right one of the big things is the comms to be able to talk to each other be able to practice kind of make teams study other players study other teams to be like okay how do we counter this because i mean half the battle is knowing your enemy right so that's really exciting to hear you're about to say something lance i need i saw you I may have been about to say something, but I don't know what it would have been. <laughs> it has been at least 30 seconds since I had that thought, so it is gone. 30 seconds, it is gone. Yeah, I mean, uh, what is most Lance. Lance. Sorry, you can't blame Lance. He's been awake since God knows how early this morning for Fang. But he took a nap. He took a right. nap, so. Yeah, but I overslept during my nap, which makes it <laughs> even worse. Which means I was in the middle of like REM sleep or something, and I shouldn't have gotten up when I got up. And here right. I am, he waking dies. up, dumb, He's tired, out here fighting his demons on to <laughs> the camera. I started hosting Fang Booth at five in the morning today and hosted it for like five hours. I'm tired, dog. I'm sorry. I'm proud of you. I'm proud Thank of you. you. It went really well. We had shit kickings all day long. Yeah. <laughs> all day long. Not a competitive match the whole time. It was great. Oh man! But what what about uh, the main event for you, Lance? That kind of changes out because obviously, me and you as casters and going to the event, you do a little bit more hosting and on the desk the ninety. So you have kind of like a little bit more, I guess, knowledge and experience throughout of it. The thing that I like the most about the main event in comparison to the Swiss or group stages that we've done in the past is the 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 series aspect of it. You know, seeing teams win a one off like. I've done enough competing and throughout my life through whether it was video games, real life sports, chasing lady, like any sort of competing that you can do. Right. Anybody can win in a one off. It's hard to win in like an extended series where we beat you over and over and over again. Right. So a lot of the times you'll have situations where like nightshade almost beat professors in our last BCC Swiss stage. Like, what weird but they weird. almost did and there's a chance that they could have won that game realistically and then they steal that game and they get up and then it, they just never play each other again and then nightshades has the the bragging rights at the end of the day at the end of main event the end of each series the end of all of the different rounds you know who the better team between the two teams were because they played more than once and i like that it gives us some real decisive answers i don't like that no uh, i don't personally for me i think the real fun about it is the in between going into the main event after the groups or after the Swiss stages and the trash talk is just there and real. 
And you know the teams are just getting pumped up like, okay, I know my matchup in the next two weeks he's going to be. And they're out there going after and they're like, okay, we got it. Uh, I think, and then as soon as the post goes on, you're just like, yep, here comes the trash talking. Jumping into some of the voice chats before a game of the very first game is actually hilarious because they're like, yeah, this guy's bad. <laughs> I'm not going to say who, but this guy's bad and they got to just go in. Um, but it's fun to hear. It's fun to hear that competitive nature, the banter. Um, and I think casting it, knowing how the players are, obviously being in the community so long, playing with everybody, even in the regular just game, um, you kind of just see their personality really thrive throughout that main event. It kind of just gets to that next level. Um, but yeah, let us know in chat or let us know in the video. Uh, on YouTube, what you guys really like about the Swiss stages and the main event. That will be really dope to hear from you guys. Um, but going into finishing off PC9 info, we talked about donations. This is going to be a nice little dono plug here. Uh, we can't do this without funds as well as we have been doing it. It starts with you guys. Um, viewing viewership is our number one focus um but being able to get the prize pool for the players uh it's one thing to say like yeah you're playing for the community playing for the game trying to keep it alive but at the end of the day nobody wants to play for nothing right nobody wants to put a bunch of hours i mean wangle's already talked about it i don't know how many hours they're screaming for it's actually ridiculous lance knows this i know this we as casters watching all these scrims trying to get all the info getting the graphics done, hot sauce on the back end, admin stuff, literally going through production. Like every single thing just takes a lot of time. Obviously we don't get paid, but we want to be able to at least play the, pay the players. Um, so if you guys I want, we do have a GoFundMe. Um, you can always donate to us, sub to us, do anything to kind of help us out. Um, so anything that amount, any amount helps and we appreciate all the support. Even if you're just watching, giving us two cents from the Twitch ads, you know, or three cents with Twitch Turbo, uh, it all adds up at the end of the day. Um, we're also looking a little bit more for staff. Uh, we talked about the manpower it takes to really keep the status quo, right? Um, for PCC, uh, we've been around the longest, um, right next to uh, for the core, uh, and. We always aim to pretty much appease the viewership and the players, right? That's our main goal. Um, but that starts from our staff. The more staff we have, the more stuff that we can do. Um, like I said, Wango said it a little bit earlier. It takes a lot of manpower to try and show you guys 106 games. If you guys want 106 games, we need more people to show you the 106 games. So it could go anywhere from admin, graphics, video team, production, you want to cast you want to host a desk i mean we pretty much have all positions we're always looking for more people so if you are interested just join our discord message me message lance somebody in the staff section senior staff and should be able to help you out hey uh, so guys people watching people watching this in the future we need observers and we need a video editor please please <laughs> that's all lance is in charge of talent so you definitely need some observers um, in charge of the video team, please. If you're a video editor, let me know. Uh, the more video editors we have, the more content we can pump out for you guys, like that cool highlight video we just showed you guys in the beginning. Um, and that way we can keep you guys up up to date with the most of pretty much everything that we have. Uh, yeah. Uh, once again, signups do go live tonight, midnight, and you guys will be available. We will make a post tomorrow reminding you guys again signups are open you don't have to sign up at the very moment sign up opens you don't have to lock that roster it causes more problems for us for you to sign up early and change your roster six times than it is for you just to wait until the last day of signups actually i'm just gonna come out and say that's not allowed you, you lock your roster in that's who you get yeah. we ain't doing that <laughs> we ain't doing that so yeah wait a little bit Ro lock your roster with the people that are gonna be locked in with it don't sign up with uh with billy john realize you got to cut him and, and add timmy to your team because we ain't doing that you're gonna have to play with with ba billy john and timmy's gonna be able to play with the typers so yeah yeah you're gonna be messed up um you have a lot of time in between october 1st is when signups are going to be closing so you do have until october 1st at midnight to close that roster and get your team ready so make sure you guys get your teams set um i know wango talked about it he's like hey he's trying out for a couple of teams apparently he's mr popular um so 
yeah, if you're in that stage, make sure you guys wait for your full roster and uh, then lock in by the end of sign up dates. Once sign ups are closed, they are closed. Don't hmm. come to me. Don't come to my admin team. And don't type like, me. Yeah, don't type me. <laughs> don't type me. <laughs> don't type me. Because um, what we're going to do is be like, oh, I'm sorry. See you in the next PCC. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, the reason for this is the hectic. <laughs> The most hectic time we have in PCC is the week leading up to PCC, and that's exactly when signups close. We are trying to finalize everything. We are trying to make sure teams are ready. We're trying to have make sure logos, graphics, every single thing is ready to go to perfection for the broadcast. And the last thing we want to worry about is you just want to take Timmy off your team now when you had forever to take him away. Um, so yeah. Um, other than that, I mean, that's pretty much all the info that we have for this. Um, I do want to say for you guys, PC9 is the last PCC you have to be able to try and auto qualify for PCCX. So if you wanted to get a chance at a bigger price pool, this is your time. Get yourself auto qualified into it and it's going to be great. PF6. Hmm. I, I don't know if this is unprofessional because we actually didn't discuss this before this. I, have we revealed the prize pool for PCC9 yet? No. Why don't we do it? No. Why don't we do it? No. Why not? Let's do it. No. Why not? How about this? How about what? this? When are we going to have a bigger show to do it? When are we going to? When's a better time? You going to put it on Twitter? Um. Let me. Maybe the CTC before before ECC nine. We'll talk all about right, it. All right, all right. We we'll, gotta we'll, we'll talk about it. Oh, 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 oh. Joster says do it in the chat, that's all I'm saying. Joster says do it. Joster says do it in the chat. Is he trolling you us though? You should do Is it. He... I mean, can you 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 can't trust him? Yeah, you can't I'm trust Joster. I'm don't, doing don't, it. Don't, don't do it. Oh, all right, you can do it, F6. He's trolling. He's trolling. ECC nine. He's not trolling. Are you trolling? Why would are you trolling, troll? Jolster? He's not in charge Jolster anymore. That's a good point. Troll. That's the most serious man I know. <sighs> this is the most active our chat's been since the moment we uh, we went yeah, live. Yeah, because it so. has to do with money. I keep telling you guys, of players course. want to play for money. Money talks, um, dog. That's why that's why we run the dono links as hard as we do, right? All right, all right. So, choices at TwitchCon. Choice isn't going to answer us to let us know. If we if we buzz up choice right now and say choice, can we tell everybody that the prize pool for PCC nine is three thousand dollars? He's not going to answer, so we're just going to have to wait and find out whether or not we can tell you that the prize pool is three thousand later, and then we'll make a post on Twitter or something. Yeah, but we're talking about PCCX, right? Oh, we're not revealing X. We're not oh. revealing X's prize oh, pool. See, that's, that's what they wanted to know. Oh, oopsies! I'm trying to Are know you... how much I'm not going to get this tournament. Yeah, it's three. It's well, we'd have to ask Choice whether or not we can mention that this one's three thousand. But when Choice gets back to us, we'll make a post about <laughs> it. So yeah, um, it's guys, a... it's not three thousand. This prize pool right. is three k. I'm okay with telling you guys that. There you guys go. It is three k prize pool for this tournament. Um. A lot of cheese. Um, we don't see a dime of it. Um, maybe Wengel does. He says he's going to be the winner of this PCC. So I, I'm pulling for Team Wengel hard this one. I think I think that the, that roster looks really good. But I'm going to be real. When you told me about the roster with important Neft on it, I went, "Oh shit! Everybody else is screwed." <laughs> yeah. yeah, that that team sounds. Pretty it's all right. But, it's Pinzo's turn to win one. But they're pinged. They're pinged. We, we can't. We can't forget that they're on ping. Nah, we we all know it's Pinzo's turn to win one. Finally, yeah, nah, he's Pinzo gonna had be, his try on. Pinzo's PCC gonna be four. jungler for D Lab, right? I mean, I'm not naming names, but they're trying Pinzo out junglers. Pinzo, Pinzo jungle? jungle. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna reveal anymore. I don't. I don't know, man. But uh. We'll release the prize pool for PCCX uh, once nine's over. We'll do it early. We'll if do it there, early. We'll do it if, early. We want hype for that one. We'll do it early for sure. Is there room for me to ask a question, by the way? We have a whole question oh, yeah. segment coming up next, Wangle. Oh, yeah. well, why don't, end it. why don't I start it off? Uh, what is the official ruling? Because on October 1st is the next content patch. I'm assuming it's a no, but what's the official ruling on the new character? I believe it's named Skylar mm. to be played 
in either play-ins or finals. So the bird will not be in play-ins for sure. For sure not play-ins. We normally don't let them into main event finals as well, but it kind of depends on patch timing. If she's released the Tuesday before the fifth, so that would be the second. Yep. I believe it's October. There will not be a there will not be a patch before the nineteenth and twentieth. And our ruling has always been there needs to be a patch between release and it getting in, which is the reason Tara got in because they did the hot fix and the hot patch for it, right? Yeah. But historically, traditionally through PCC history, if there is not a patch between main event and Swiss, we don't let the new hero in. So yeah. hopefully that is the case. The cool thing about being a community-based, just small team of people running a tournament organization, we can do whatever the heck we want. So we might do it. We might not. We probably won't. But I don't want to, like, give you a 100% promise because... 99% yeah. no. Just so 99% that there will no. Be no patch. But cool. if somebody's like, here's 100K, let Skylar in. We're letting her in. We're letting her in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right, not playing. <laughs> but so, no, if, Kazoo, just... if you want to see Skylar, hit us up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, but yeah, uh, the reason, yeah, it, it, Tara was an anomaly. She was weird for some reason. All the stars lined up, so we got a patch for the first time in between an actual main event where we could allow that character. And then there was a whole bunch of commotion on it. And that one, we took that one to a vote, and obviously the vote succeeded. That's why. She went through but yeah we won't i know you want yeah, i remember i remember through. that one was pretty controversial anyways but yeah i, I assumed yeah. it was a no especially because like we don't know what it does it could be <laughs> super broken yeah so. <laughs> it could be we'll have to wait and find out yeah so then, i'm fine with it i was just curious to confirm that or at least have expectations because it is really weird as a player uh for play-ins the patch is the tuesday before so you have like four days i believe it's mm -hmm. october 1st or something to like you know whatever changes that they make because usually they make bigger changes al alongside the character so was just curious and i do believe the other part i was going to ask about was They've been teasing it. The Halloween map is what we're going to be playing on, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if the Halloween is map like, or the Halloween map is live during PCC, it's what we're going to play on. We don't get to pick. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's that's not, that's not a question for us. That that that's wasn't question really for, a question. Yeah. It was more just like a oh, a hype thing. Yeah, yeah that would be pretty sick. And then just to kind of like go back to what you're talking about with the the playing a couple of days after a patch because that does suck, and we recognize that. We made the events for the year 2024's PCCs like around this time in 2023. Yeah. So it's tough and it sucks, but we knew really far in advance what dates worked for like us as a staffing as a staff. So we just put it super far out in advance so that people could commit to it in a, in early times for those who have to put their time off in early, those sort of situations. So we did it really early and then it just kind of fell into an unlucky spot for a couple yeah. of our events where the, where the patch comes right after it. That's something we, will try to avoid in the next year, but I'm not exactly sure how we're going to be doing our schedule and if we're going to be doing it a year out in advance again or what the situation for that will be. But that's the that's the nature of the beast, baby. Yeah, um, a lot of times, like, bigger games will have a client that we can play on, right? And just kind of like, hey, a past release, but we could play on this client and then we just kind of just not have to worry about it. But since we don't have that, we can't really rely on that. Yeah. But like Lance said, it's something that we're looking forward to on the next year of planning. Um, like we're planning a bunch of stuff, but especially when it comes to our schedule is to look at when our patch cycles. Um, if we know that a meta is sticking with the patch cycle currently, we can definitely look into, or I guess I, would, I should ask you now, wh what would you guys want? Like the tournament a week after the patch instead? Yeah, like, so, I mean... Or, uh... I'm not too against it. It's just like, like it is a short amount of time for play-ins. Mm. Trying, you got four days, so it's like four scrim sets basically, unless you double book. Um, right. That was just like, it's not really anything you can avoid. I'm not like complaining about it, uh, and I feel it's going to be interesting because a lot of it is going to be you're going to see what people are drafting evolve, um, 
like as the play in or as the Swiss stage goes on, like you'll probably start the weekend casting like, oh, they're drafting these two characters. And then by the end of the weekend, you're not seeing those characters at all anymore, which I think is also like a really cool viewing experience is like you're watching people learn in real time. So I'm not super against it, but it was just kind of a thing I was calling attention to. Okay. We could that I mean, yeah, that's definitely something we're looking into and it's a pain in the ass to like look at. But um we're definitely it's on our radar. Um and it's something that the more feedback we get from not just you but other players as well, what time frame they would like to look to start the tournaments based off patches, etc. Um, like I said, the more feedback we get, the easier it is for us to facilitate a better experience for the viewers and for the players. So um that's so I'm glad you brought it up. But um, definitely, we can't do anything about this year, but definitely next year, it's on the top five list of something that we're trying to do with our schedule. Um, but going back to the Halloween map, if for some reason they allow us to do in custom games the traditional map or the Halloween map, we will 100% yeah. do the Halloween map. It does it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see our colors. It's orange and purple um, for Halloween. Uh, so we're going to go with the Halloween theme as much as we can. Uh, you might see some talent wearing some Halloween stuff. You never know. Uh, but yeah. Wait, so, what are you going to be for Halloween this year? You know I'm not going to be. I don't have any plans. Does you know that I have zero F6? plans so far. F6, what are you going to be for Halloween? Yeah. Uh, I can't say that on live. Um, but, okay. Uh, whoa, daddy. Whoa, chill out. Um, I'm going to be... Something I really wanted to be was an astronaut growing up. So maybe I'll do that uh possibility um but yeah that's that's my go-to right now that's my secondary option my only idea at the minute is to be the ghost from a charlie brown christmas or the uh, charlie brown halloween <laughs> special where he cuts way too many holes into the cloth mm -hmm. and a really bad ghost i think that'd be pretty cool i like i it. think you can do it you gotta make sure there's a hole for your lips I, okay <laughs> Really nice. <laughs> I would be Winnie the Pooh. You would be Winnie the Pooh? Yeah, I bought a yellow nylon like bodysuit and a really small uh red t-shirt. Are you gonna have like a whole jar of honey that you're carrying around? Maybe. But uh yeah, I'm gonna be Winnie the Pooh. And I I got the I got the figure for it. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh I'm working on a secret project right now, actually. What the what? What secret project, Dolster? Bro, we're really... not working on any secret projects. <laughs> uh, oh man. Um sweet. Uh but yeah, does anybody have any questions in chat? Um any questions at all? Um uh, I see one than, from other than who trying to scream tomorrow. Yeah, that's Steve. actually the question I was gonna ask out loud for the glad. Uh AP Tanjiro wants to know who trying to scrim tomorrow at six CST. Mm, mm. Well, fun fact, in our Discord we have a looking for scrim section. Uh, you can type in there uh, if you want to look for some scrims. I also see another question from Lime Green Pearly. They say, I, um, I'm guessing there will be Halloween skins too then. And I'd like to refer back to something F6 had said earlier <laughs> in Cutting to the Core. <laughs> we are not affiliated with Ometa. We do not develop things for this game. And we are not able to answer that question any better than you are. But yeah. I hope so too. I'm also assuming that there will be Halloween skins. If there's a Halloween map... And not Halloween skins. I'm gonna have a I'm riot. going to London and asking some questions. You know, I need to stop screaming against random teams and standard. What does that mean? Are you are you, are you screaming this random teams and standards? Five stacking, and, five stacking and solo queues. Still I haven't a problem. played a standard in weeks. I'm gonna be real. I like only play ranked, and in ranked you can only <laughs> duo, and you have to be close enough to your teammates. So I could duo with quite a lot of my teammates except mercy because he's hard stuck diamond one hard Wait, stuck you can't queue with one. mercy because he's diamond one i i could but i just I wanted was, to call out the fact okay. that he's the only one not paragon on the team oh they're not going to be able Rare. to hear my soundboard if i use it i was going <laughs> to play the i'm diamond one thing oh uh, dude i love that thing so much it's more relevant now that we have ranked i'm diamond one <laughs> uh do you have your team locked already wengel uh not locked, but yeah. You know, see if thing with if things change, but we're scrimming with the team that we have now. It's feeling pretty good. So 
I don't know. I have a Says, question for you, Wangle, really quick. Just a sure. personal one. Okay. If you could have anybody play jungle for you, like who's who's your who not even give me the whole four teammates. Give me your, your four dream teammates. Four dream teammates. And like it doesn't necessarily have to be the best. Like you can put Blue Jay on this if you want. <laughs> The team. Um, I've played with a lot of really good junglers. Um, important Conte are really, really talented people. Um, honestly, he's my boy, but I've never played with him. I would like to experience playing with Nitro in the jungle. I love my Nitro. Uh, Offlane, I've played with a lot of good offlanes as well, to be honest. Um, maybe I do remember old North offlane playing against it back in Sev meta, and I believe he picked a Bellica into the Severog, like Bellica offlane, and that was like an unironic counter, and it was kind of disgusting. I don't know. Maybe that. <laughs> maybe just throw an Orph off lane again, give him some stupid ranged matchup, and let him do his magic. Uh, Who you pair him with Neft? Who you pair him with Neft? If it's not me, I'm going to be um, hurt because we want a tournament together. <laughs> What's it called? Um, I don't know. There are so many like talented people that you could name for so many different roles on this list, and I've played with a lot of people that I would love to play with again. Um, give me Penguin on zero ping. Penguin because zero I've ping? I've played with Penguin, but I want to see what he's like if he's not on the ping. Zero Penguin. Just just because he's just because he's my boy. Okay. All right. Okay. But like I've you know I've played with Toasty like on the original D Lab roster. Uh, Toasty's nuts. I'm play. I'm currently playing with Gorsi, who I've wanted to play with for a long time as well. There are quite a lot of support players out there that, you know, oh, they're going to enjoy that clip so much. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It, it's very difficult to pick like a number one starting team. I, I right. most of my teams that I pick, there have to be good vibes for me to want to play on it. That's like my number one thing. Big Blue Jay disrespect, too. All right. Sorry, I interrupted. I think you had a real important question or an actual important question during that uh, F6. No, nah, it's been 30 seconds, that. dude. It's been 30 seconds. You it's completely it washed. Yeah. Nice. Um, nice. But if you guys have any questions uh, for PCC or just in general for PCC, it doesn't have to be about nine. It could be about PCCX. Um, it could just be about, hey, hire me. Uh, we pay zero cents to the dollar. Uh, and yeah. Uh, Lobber, you said pick Lobber so you can both have internet or not have internet. If you guys don't know, <laughs> Wango and Lobber are notorious for not having internet on it PCC Swiss one stages. Time. Uh, and Wango <laughs> had to go to a hotel to play a okay. game. Did you guys I, win? I, okay, I don't know if I have ever like they, given they the full story it. on cast. Uh, it just happened to be that my mom was visiting me. Or I think, mm. yeah, I think it was, I was going back to the UK to like move back in and it was PCC time and I didn't have internet and my mom had like come with me cause she, uh, like Her she works boy. with an office that is in England as well. And so she was like going to go visit them. And so she like came to visit me for a couple of days and had the hotel. So I went to her hotel room. She was chilling behind me the entire time I'm playing. I brought my laptop that I was playing on to her hotel room set up and she was like watching me from behind. We ended up losing the series 2-1. I think I don't know what it it was 1-1 one, one when I was there. We had Pinzo die level one before minions showed up. I remember, in mid, oh, I remember that. It, I game remember one. That. that was yeah. It was just game one was just kind of a wash and it was one one after I got there. Who knows what would have happened if I was there the whole time. So real question very serious was the solo bolo there from Pinzo worse than his Richter skewer through the wall at five camp? 
that was a that was a scrim. They're not. It's not comparable. No, it's it, it is it's, comparable. It's, it's it's not really comparable. Because everyone knows about Pinzo ults, and you don't focus on the ults because he'll just hit the most disgusting hooks of all time for no reason. But then as soon as you okay. ask him to land his R button, his big cone in front of him, it just doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so I, I don't know what it is with that guy. He can't press R, but he'll hit some of the most disgusting hooks I've ever seen for no reason. Maybe he should rebind that key or something. Rebind the key to space bar, like, like <laughs> yeah. <something. laughs> Um, uh, somebody asked, is this the last PCC of the year besides X, which I think is a little confusing of a way to put it, but yes, there are two more PCC events this year, PCC nine, which starts October 5th and then PCC X, which is in December. So a lot of people think they, they like to group it as like one tournament. So PCC, all the PCCs before X are qualifiers. Uh, you're fighting for points kind of like you would do in a league. You're just playing games to get points, but instead you're playing trying to win tournaments to get points. Uh, PCCX is the big shebang bang um, where all your points throughout the year gets added up and the top teams auto qualify and then you move on there. Um, so if you want to get into PCCX guaranteed, you play through the year, try and get your points. That way you should be good to go. Yes, to answer your question. I can't help but think this could be avoided if they just called it PCCC 10. Based. It's called PCC 10. That's based, Toasty. Don't, don't hype Toasty up. That's <laughs> pretty based, Toasty. <laughs> That's pretty based. No, 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 no. It's PCC X because the X is a number for 10. It's the Roman just call numeral. It X. Thank you. It, Thank you, Lance. We just call it X because X gonna give it to you. X gonna give it to you. X is 10, 10 is X. It's just a different way of saying PCC 10. We didn't want to be basic. That's all toasty. Okay. They're trying to be edgy up in here. Yeah, we're trying to be Elon Musk. Oh. Wait, how did you just say his first name? <laughs> what? Elon. Oh, Elon. Elon. Okay, Elon. we're just gonna move past that. <laughs> is PCC points by team or is it accumulation of points for each player with all the team changes it is points per team so there's a rule that says you have to have three out of the five original team members from the PCC that you got points from to get those points to move on so for instance if the professor's team that they are going to go into the next tournament is doing they only have two out of five, so they won't necessarily auto qualify because they don't have the same roster as when they won. But if they were to put someone like Soul Reaper on the bench again, then they would keep it. Right. Has to be on the starter roster. Oh. So I don't really have points, do I? Mm -mm. <laughs> nope. Nice. I, we told you guys in the beginning we of the told year you guys not to do it. Roster roulette is not the way to go this year. So, yeah. Nice. We have a solution semi semi plan for that if we decide to do the same format again where we do qualifiers up through the year. Uh, but we're still workshopping that and it is nowhere near ready to be discussed yeah. in front of anybody. <laughs> so yeah. we we can't talk about any of that right now. But for now, uh, I hope that answers your your question, Travis. So it's once again, you have to have three out of the five members of the team that won to get those points. If you don't have the three out of five of the roster, you don't get your points. Um, but don't worry. We have a way to get players still to play in PCCX. Don't you worry about it. And we'll reveal that at uh, after nine. Um, that's time. something we can't talk about, but we just don't want to talk about it right now. True. I think I invested in Lawburn Lake in the two big L's. That was a good choice, Toasty. You even somehow spun the narrative where everybody thinks that you're carrying Lakin instead of Lakin carrying you. You really couldn't have done this much better. To be honest. Um, Mods. Wait, any other questions? Oh. Oh, we're going to 
give you guys five minutes here, but in the meantime, five we have to look at Wangle. What? Can, why me? Oh, you know what, F6? I've been watching your Discord stream this entire time, and people who I didn't know kept popping up on my Steam playing games that I had never heard of. <laughs> and I was like, who are these people? <laughs> and they're your friends, not mine. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, bud. No, it's okay. I just feel stupid for not recognizing it until now. And nobody on the stream has been watching your direct feed like I have, so they have no idea what I'm talking about either. <laughs> The struggles. This is what happens when choices. What is the here. best flavor combination? Chicken and beer. <laughs> that was <laughs> what? Chicken and beer. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put it down to one more that minute. Was so instant and so confident and so wrong. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, we're gonna ignore that. Uh, do you guys think all the PCC ADCs are support carried? Except for yes. Nest. I think you no, I still think he gets carried by Penguin most of the time. He's been he's played with like 18 different supports and he's won a tournament with every single one of them. Yeah, but he's not the he's not the factor of it. It's it's the oh. supports. Maddie Dash wants to know oh, if I'm I... taking Sai in a wrestling match at LAN. And let me tell you, brother. <laughs> I've got Sai for three minutes if he comes up to me and I'll take that Justin Bieber haircut and I'll turn him around. I'll stuff him real deep inside his own pocket. Then I'll put his shoulder blades straight to the squared circle. One, two, three. And just like that, it would be over. Oh, and I weigh like 100 pounds more than Seismic does. But Seismic will have to come out of retirement once again. That's true. Um, especially Survivor. Oh, yeah. I mean, Crazy Fool carries Survivor throughout life in general. Right. I heard uh, Crazy Fool actually got Survivor's job. Yeah. I'm pretty yeah. sure Crazy Fool has been taking care of Survivor out of the womb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Survivor was born and Crazy was there, ready to. <laughs> crazy was <laughs> there, ready. <laughs> Who's your favorite mid laner from current patch, Wangle? Um, I've been having a lot of fun, like getting back into spamming a lot of Wraith. However, she's kind of just always been my girl whenever I can play her. Oh God. Say it. I'm, I'm so enjoying Countess right now. Oh, never mind. I already knew it was coming. I, I'm so enjoying Countess right now. But in the games that I can pick it, that there's not Richter, Drongo, and like Greystone and a couple other things that are just not fun to play against as a Countess. Besides those, like if it's a Countess game, I'm having a lot of fun with her. I don't exactly know how good she is, but I don't yeah, think she's very good. We but I'm having fun again. with him. That's not middling. Wingle, this is your last CTC, buddy, after that statement. Um, I'm surprised I got one. Are you surprised I got one? <laughs> uh, Maddie, when can I get a PCC interview? When you win PCC, brother. Okay, but now um, he just cut, came back with a really good counterpoint. Wangle has not won a PCC, and here he is. I've won. This is not an interview. Uh, thank this you. Is not an interview. So don't talk to me. Oh, that's true. This isn't an interview either. He's a guest. He's a guest. Uh, he's a guest here. He's a guest here. Yeah. I'm How do you get on CTC? Not be a Wraith one trick. Well, Wangle's also part of the PCC broadcast team. He he hosted, yeah, a, or yeah. not hosted, but he was on desk for a finals for us once. Yeah. So if, I'm, if I'm not playing, then I'm always casting or I'm doing desk for PCC. If I end up washed and bad at the video game and nobody wants me anymore, PCC want me still. Mm -hmm. He's got that reverse Olive Garden. When yeah. he's not here, he's family, you know? When he's not here, he's family. <laughs> Okay, buddy. Well, nobody has any more questions. Uh, I just want to do a final reminder. Signups open tonight at midnight. There will be a link, but we'll give you guys a informative post tomorrow that signups are open. Um, also, make sure you get your team finalized before you sign up and throw it into the link. I Once you throw it in there, just understand we are probably not going to take the time out of our day try and fix your roster because you didn't want to take the time to actually finalize your roster yourself. Uh, once signups are over, signups are done. 
don't come to us about, hey, we got a team 12.01 a.m. the next day, October 2nd. But we'll tell you I'm in bed. Good night. Um, I won't respond. Yes, Lance won't even respond. Um, I have to respond being community manager. Um, but uh, other than that, hope you guys are excited for PCC 9. Uh, we have a lot in store for you. Um, got a lot of content coming out for you guys in the next coming weeks. So you guys get you guys hyped up. Uh, but other than that, Speaking of content, we got we're gonna play you the highlight video again. Yeah, as they play the highlight video again, that thing was dope. It's been six, it's been Wangle, it's been Lance. We'll catch you guys on the flip, and you guys have a good one. Bye. are going to be going ahead and backing out. He does have those enhanced stats online right now because of the prime. You can tell that they're looking for the prime. He doesn't care at all. He's going to hit them with a big old knock them off. Hit him with the stun. Oh, rush right in. We're onto the core. They're looking to try to push this down and end this tournament right here, right now. The big combo. The big damage coming out. They grab the members. Look at the health bars drop here. They find a huge and take the all prime from even worse timing. There is only one champion and they're looking to walk away with the belt over their shoulder, hold it up high. You know, the, the champion gets the girls, the champion gets the gold, the champion gets the glory. And that's what they're looking for here. Right now, even worse timing needs a defense that can stop a Titan from going through it. Have to get ill. The Pablo's gonna get caught by Crazy Bull and just absolutely obliterated. Professors playing out of their damn minds today. 50 scrims, 20 days, one BCC championship for Professor, baby! Evil West timing taking this call. He took out your reigning champions, the crowd's on the floor. Pick it up, dust it off, put it back on your head. Because even worse timing are your two-time PCC champion. You have to put up the wall, you can't let them get this damage across. It has to be the rope, it has to be them, it has to be Man Q who is getting pushed back. They are starting to go one by one. I've been bigger with the pickoff, and it is gonna be D that are your PCC Mountain Champion! The crowning moments, semi-finals in PCC 6, semi-finals in PCC 7, change the name, change the logo, but never change the drive. The doctors are here, they're gonna take it all, and they are your PCC 8 Grand Champions.